What's up, sports fans? It was a rivalry showdown in Skipperville tonight as Ariton and GW Long battled it out in the 2A baseball semifinals, both trying to punch their ticket to the state finals. Let's take a look at game one. Getting things started, top of the second. Ariton's Phoenix Griffin gets on base with a single to left. Runners on first and second. Dalton Murphy hits it. Jackson Chansey ducks just in time to not get hit. Brody Walker dives, flips it to second, saving a run and getting the out. Bottom second on the first pitch. Long's Jackson Dassinger sends it deep to left field for a double for the Rebels. And on a wild pitch, Dassinger will advance to third. Later in the inning, Tanner Johnston grounds to left to bring Dassinger home, making it one to nothing Rebels in Skipperville. Joining in in the bottom of the third, Hayes Horn gets on base with a single to left. Trevor Morris and Jackson Chansey will both walk on their at-bats, bases loaded. Dassinger up again. He walks and Horn comes home 2-0 to zero Rebels. Bases still loading. Loaded, it's going to be Johnston at the plate again. He hits it deep left. The Ariton left fielder dives but misses, giving three more runs to the Rebels. They go up 5 to nothing in the bottom of the third. Ariton tries the battle back in the sixth, but Long comes out on top 7-3 to three in game one. Game two still underway. We are in extra innings now. It's the bottom of the tenth. We're all tied up at seven. In 5A ball, Headland visits.